Breaker 1-9, hello everybody, my name is Diesel Dog Dan, and again we are back on the farm, back on Farm Simulator once again, and this time I've actually got the front loader to work with the joystick like I said in the previous video, so like I said before, will be the fun task of mucking out the cows. We've got the bit, yeah, there's a, just got to go and, go and get the, um, the front loader bit. Yeah, I had to, I was playing around with it this morning. Trying to get it to work. I've been doing odd bits. So I haven't recorded it though. I've done um, the Phil Cotter bit. I did start see, uh, seeding one bit. I did start a bit of silage. But I'm not going to. Just could do a few today. See? There's, that's the joystick that you see there. That was reverse. So I think I need a weight. I'm not sure if I've got a weight on this farm though. That's the other front loader. No, that's a. F no, I ain't. Right. If I drop these forks. A sec. Get off. And go and get the other weight from the other farm. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video, these videos. I enjoy making these videos. Farm Simulator is just a, a game that you can get into and just never get bored of. I think I've got another weight at the other farm. I think. But yeah, this morning's done a bit stylish. I might do some videos of that maybe later on. But who knows? But yeah, I've got the joystick to work this morning. I will do a, like a sort of video on that, if that's something you guys, if you play this game and you want, I've just got the single joystick, I haven't got, because I'm not doing forestry and I haven't got the dual joysticks or anything, I ain't got to, I've just got the one. But if that's something you guys would like to see, I will do sort of some sort of video on it. Excuse me. Right, as far as I'm aware, there's... One, yeah, there. There it is. Now we've got the weight attached. The weight is probably a bit OTT for this tractor, but yeah, it is. But oh well. Perhaps if I lower the weight. There we are, that's a bit better. So head back to the other farm, get the forks, get the muck loader on. And we'll do a bit of M. I have got a set, still continue doing the joystick, so... But all along, I had it right, it was just at the dead zone. So this, the, the game pad, as the game calls it. It was just set to zero, so obviously it was really sensitive to anything. But, I have it worked out, and I still haven't set the time to reel and weathering off. As I keep forgetting. Like I say, on this map, the Colbra map, you need to set it the time to real time and the weathering off. Because your crops will just go and it will be a waste of time. As I found out the hard way. So we'll just get the front loader on, or well the front loader arms. So 
so we'll see how well this turns out. Like I say, I haven't used this in a while. I'm glad I got to get up against it. I just adds realism, doesn't it, to the game, which is what you want to do. I work. I reckon this has worked quite well on Dagger's um, online server. the gate. Bump. So this should be fun. I'm going to try and do it from the first person view to see if I can. I think I may have to lower that weight because that's just asking for a knocking. Just close that so none of these guys can escape. Oh. Oh, here comes the fun part. Stick the beacon on. Could be on. Yeah. Whoa! Isn't it Death Wish? So, my PC crashed. Oh dear. Oh well. Onward we go. I think it's all going to be today. It's kind of like fr front load of fun. When you've got to literally just go in and it fills the bucket up full. Yeah, like I was saying, this would work well on Dagger on Dagger's server. And hopefully, it'll bring some um, good videos as well to the, to the my videos as well. But like I say, if you guys want to see a setup of this, like, setup, with the joystick and stuff, I will do. I think I've actually just got to drive in and it fills the bucket up. Like I say, I'm only using the one joystick. There's no, I'm not using dual joysticks or anything. It does make the game a lot easier, especially with the steering wheel and the joystick, it's just, this is working brilliantly. But yeah, my game crashed for some apparent reason, don't ask why. The only thing, I do need to get the bedding down there. And get some feed going, maybe. I'm not sure that's everything. Like I said, I'll set the controls up for the joystick at a later, like, for more in-depth. Ah, ah, all cleared out. Okay, it's around through a cow.
So we might do a bit of seeding, because I have got quite a bit of seeding to do on the other field. Open the gate first. Hold on. There we are. I will at some later stage, like I say, I'll do silage and stuff like that, but at the moment, small steps, small steps is what we're taking. Right, if I just quickly... Go on, go. So put that there. I think I'll put the weight. I don't know where should I put the weight? I'll put the weight back here somewhere. Wrong button. Wrong button. There we are. That's what I wanted. Nothing like a clean farm. Stick them at the back of the shed for now. I'm not sure if what I'll go over there is pallet forks or not. I can't, I don't know. A lot, I know, before anyone says, I know a lot of my machinery could do with cleaning. Oh no, they're just bale forks. It's close enough. There's the cultivate. I need to still finish cultivating field. I can't remember what field that is, but... As you can see, I have started somewhat... You try and set the works on this map, and they don't particularly follow the correct line, shall we say. So we'll do it. Well, hope. <laughs> well, like I said, I do want to join in on a multiplayer server, but I just I want to get the realism correct first. I don't think I've got the correct weight on for the front of this. Just for this sort of work. So I would like to hire a worker and the him get on with it, but that ain't gonna happen anytime soon because they just, like I say, they don't. They're not very particular about following lines. Tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna have to get another weight because this is driving me Barney. But I've left the weight all the way at the other farm. Right, so we'll give it the big one. Go and change the weight. Double vegans coming through. Well, like I say, a lot of the fields on this are weathered now and they're not any use to me whatsoever, so I have now got to go around cultivating the whole lot and replant and everything again. Don't pull out, okay, just pull out. 
I'll go around you. But yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Dagger's um, channel, I would suggest you do so, as it is a, an amazing channel. I think the other weight's a bigger weight. We'll soon find out. Go around the yard and swing round. Yeah, that's the kind. That's what I should use for the um, front loader. This is what I need. Right, we'll go back to the other farm now. and select the cedar, but I will skip that bit, so I will see you guys when I get there. So, we're back at the field. Go and find the cedar where I left it. Over here. So, turn it on, lower, lower, no, yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, it's better. There no, still slips and slides around, but hey ho. Sorry if I'm quiet guys, it's just I'm trying to make sure, I hate when you miss bits, especially when you're harvesting, that just annoys the hell out of me. Like this bit here, there's, why? So we start going back round again. Okay, maybe it still slips and slides. Right, let's hire a worker and see how they get on with that. Don't crash again. Yeah, you're not going to do too well at that, pal. Can you guys see what I mean now? Like how annoying it is. That's like why. But um, like I say with the multiplayer videos, if it's you'd like, if you would like to see me attempt to maybe do some videos on Dagger server, I will do so. Right, we'll let him get on with it. Just do a bit of um. Try and finish the bits off that field back there. I had to bring this up here because the weight was at the, that thing again, but for some reason this time when I went to do it, it wouldn't latch on, so I had to bring this track up from the other field to, just to pull the weight out of a little tiny shed. But I've got it now, so... I ho I prefer cultivating than ploughing. I'm not a fan of the ploughs in this game. I don't know what, I just don't like the way they handle. Not my, um, cup of tea, some say.
But yeah, what's your opinion on some multiplayer videos? Would you like to see some multiplayer videos? If you would, please do let me know, and I will consider doing it. Well, if, enough, if you guys would like to see it, I will attempt it. Like I say, I, I am not the most realistic player, as I need to learn about crops and stuff like that. But I just want to get most of these fields ready because I want you guys to choose what I grow in them. So, except grass, as I've already got a few fields full of grass, I don't want particularly want to be um, doing any more because it's a bit of a nightmare because you have to plough it instead of cultivating it, and that's just an absolute. I hate ploughing. So, <laughs> good times. I hate it meaning to turn weathering off. In fact, can I actually do it now from in-game? If I can, I will go mental. Don't think I can though, see? Weathering, look at all that lot. So you got growing there, I've, that was where I done the silage the other day, which was there. Well, actually this morning, that's where I done it. And these all big red ones are absolutely no use to me whatsoever. Mm hmm. Four and five, I don't know what's on now. I think they're empty. I think. I will, um. I will have a nosy into that later on. Let's see what's going on with that. All this lot. So cultivating again. I wanted to get this done before the thingy video, but it will give me a chance. Well, this video. I wanted this all done, but this will give me a chance to ask you guys what I should grow in it. Now, bearing in mind, if you want sugar beet harvesting, I will do it. But I haven't got a harvester for it yet, or the cedar, so you will have to let me know. If that's something you would like to see, I will do. Logan, uh, I'm going to give that a miss because that's a bit temperamental now and again. If I get a bit of money and I can get the special edition with the steering wheel, I will attempt Logan then. But as it stands, uh, nah. And I don't think I could get it work on a single joystick, so... That's just a natural disaster waiting to happen. But, what do you guys think I should plant on this field? Field 7. I am leaving that decision to you. And I need tips on the way to improve and harvest of my crop. Well, improve my harvest. How I can get the most out of it I most, probably, most poss possibly can. That advice would da be rather dandy. If you, if you guys are wondering why the mirrors ain't working, that's because I've got the settings turned down to low. Like I say, with this map, it's that detailed that I had to turn the settings down. So the computer can play it on a normal map, but it'll play it. Not a problem. I ho Right, I will get in con I will speak to you in contact. Speak to you guys when a bit more of this is done. See you in a bit.
so we're now about to start the final bit of cultivating on this field, thank Christ. It took us two days to get just where we are now. And hopefully this will be ready for um, seeding. Hopefully. And this is going to struggle now. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's struggling. Come on. I'm going back up there again. One final bit and yoink. Fold the cultivator back up. I think that'd be all for the day. Just drive back to the farm now. Well, to the closest farm. But what gets planted on field seven is up to you guys. What would you like to see? Would you like to see something like sugar beet or something like that? The decision is yours. How's he getting on in here? Dunno, but some of it's already grown through. I think we'll park it next to the trailer. Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll, ho I'll clean the pair of them down because they are quite filthy. Could do with a good scrub. I've used that. I've actually used a harvester and haven't cleaned it. Steps. Just a bit. Now for this. Give the good old lights a bit of a clean. That one cleaned up nicely. Nice clean tractor and cultivator. Let's see if we can get round here. I knew that was going to happen. Right, go and pack these up in the shed. Actually, I think I'll park the cultivator where I found it, which was in here. Park it in that shed there. Actually, I'll park it in this one. Hup.
Just go and park the tractor up. Park it in the shed next to the trailer. Right, is that one done? We'll just go and see how the scene's getting on. That it. Some of it's already grown. Well, I think that'll do for today, guys. Because I don't want to do too long of episodes, but... I'll leave this one here. If you'd like me to see this field, then please do let me know. I hope you guys are enjoying the, the videos that I'm making. And if and there's also the decision on what should I plant in field 7. That decision is yours. So on that note, this brings us to the end of the video. Video. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do let me know. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. And until then, enjoy the rest of your day. 10-4, Diesel Dog, out.